And a fearful mind won't, won't just make you forget the little things that God has done for you. It'll make you forget everything God has done for you. When you let fear control your life, the best God has given you will be forgotten. So how do we change this? How do we feed our faith and how do we starve our fear? The first way we do this is we stand on God's word. We stand on God's word. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, it says this, for all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. I love this verse so much because the Bible is letting us know that all the promises of God in the word of God are for us in Jesus Christ. Like God, Jesus has paid a way and made a way. He didn't just pay for your salvation. He didn't just uh, pay for your your, uh, trip to heaven. He wants you to have heaven on earth. In fact, the Bible says this, that God wants to uh, give you all the blessings, all the blessings of God for you you are for you and for your children and for your children's children. Like we can live a life in such a way where we know that God, I am blessed and God, you want to continue to bless me. That means this, that I don't hide my head in the sand and act like my promise, my problems don't exist. But here's what I do is I don't stand on my problems. I stand on God's promises. And whenever I do that, what I'm doing is, is now then I'm switching it over and I'm no longer feeding my fear, I'm feeding my faith. I begin to understand like, you know what? I, I had this unexpected bill happen and it came out of nowhere, but God, I thank you that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I had some sickness attack my body and I wasn't expecting it, but by the stripes of Jesus Christ, your word says that I am healed. Not, not that I will be, but that I already am healed. Like, like I might be having trouble in my marriage, but God, I thank you that you're the God that restores. I, I might have a child that's away from you, but God, I thank you that all of my house will serve the Lord. God, I might be having some difficulty in my life, but I'm telling you that God is able. See, what I'm doing is, is I'm not ignoring my problems. I'm just choosing to, to change my, my bucket. I'm gonna say, no, I'm not gonna feed my fear. I'm gonna feed my faith because I know this, that God is able. Whatever difficulty you find yourself in today, there's a promise in God's word for you to stand on. Number two, surround yourself with faith-filled people. I love this. In Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 and 10, it says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. Listen, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Can I tell you that sometimes in life, life will knock you down. And it matters who you have around you to pick you up. Because again, there's going to be people that they, they may be there and they may pick you up, but man, they're going to talk about, whew, you better not, you better not try that again. Like you better not go after that dream again. Like, like you, 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 you just need, you just need to give it up, man. Like, like, like they're going to talk you into a negative scenario. Like they're going to talk you into not pursuing your dreams or going after all that God has for you. You need to surround yourself with faith filled people that will pick you up, dust you off and say, Hey man, I, I'm here with you. I'm telling you that if God promised it for you, God's going to deliver on the promise that builds your faith. See, I need people in my life that will build my faith when my faith is waning. Just like the Israelites have two voices in their life, one saying we can't and one saying we can, I'll tell you this, that you probably have two voices in your life. The question is, is which voice is louder? Are you letting the voice of fear be louder or the voice of faith? Number three, we remember all that God has brought us through. This is how we build our faith. You remember all that God has brought you through. Psalms 34, 19, it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. That's a bad boy right there. That's one of those verses you put in your back pocket and you remember in hard times. 
See, because whenever I face hard times, whenever I face difficulties, whenever I face setbacks, whenever I face financial problems, whatever it is that I'm facing in my job, whatever it is I'm facing in my life, I pull out this verse and I go, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but I thank God that you deliver me out of them all. I go back to the times when I had hardship. I go back to the times when I had difficulty. I go back to the times when I had setbacks and I remind myself that the God that got me through that can get me through this. Friend, maybe you're facing a hard time. You're still here. You're still breathing. You're still standing. Number four, we keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. This is such an important thing. We keep moving forward. We don't let fear trap us. We don't, fear, we don't let fear hold us back. We don't let fear trap us in a place that God has never intended for us to stay. Psalms 23 verse four says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yea, though I walk through. Notice this, the Bible says, yea, though I walk through. That means that you were never intended to camp out in the valley. You were never intended to stay in the valley. We all go through hard times. We all go through difficult situations. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So we serve a God that's not just with us, but he wants to comfort us in hard times. He wants to comfort us in difficult situations. Fear will try to trap you in a storm, but faith will push you through the storm. The other day, Crystal and I were driving um, and we came on a storm and it was pouring down rain and it just kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier. We're on the interstate trying to get home. It was getting late. And as the storm got heavier, I just kept moving. I kept moving forward. I, I, I just I slowed down, but I kept moving forward. Now, other cars had, had begun to stop and they began to park under the bridges, put their hazards on, park under the bridge, park on the side of the road, put their hazards on and they're, they're doing them. But I keep moving forward. And I looked over at Crystal and she's a little bit nervous because she doesn't like dark and rain. And I said, it's okay, babe. The fastest way through a storm is to keep moving through a storm. And I just want to tell you, friend, that maybe you're in a storm right now and the enemy's trying to keep, talk you into camping out, into staying in the storm. But can I tell you that faith will carry you through. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other, knowing this, that the God that got me through all of that will get me through this too. Don't let fear talk you into making a temporary situation your permanent residence. Refuse to bow your knee to feel, fear. Refuse to to let fear control your future. Choose to feed your faith and starve your fear and remind yourself that the God that got you here will get you there. Can I pray with you right where you are? Lord, right now, I just thank you for every person in this place. Lord, some of them are, are facing some hard things. Lord, I don't know what they're going through, but you do. I don't know the hardship they're facing, but you do. I don't know the diagnosis, but you do. And Lord, right now we just declare that fear must go, that fear must bow its knee, that fear can no longer stay because God, we we just declare that this is a house of faith. And right now, I just rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. I declare it cannot stay, it cannot, it cannot abide in this place, in this room, and on your people. Lord, right now, I just declare that you are lifting fear in this place. Lord, fear of recession, fear of financial breakdown, fear of sickness, fear, whatever it is that's tried to, uh, Lord, uh, control your people. Lord, we just declare right now that there's freedom in this house and he who the sun sets free is free indeed. And Lord, we just declare that God, faith is rising. God, that we see the world differently because we serve a God who is for us. And Lord, right now, I just thank you. 
thank you that your people are full of faith. In Jesus' name.